I'll tell you something right now that you don't expect me to say, but I'll tell you. Agents are not selling homes. Yes, you heard me right. Agents are not selling homes. What are they selling? They selling experience. And when you are at this position where you're making a decision which agent you're gonna work with in your home search process or in your selling process, you're choosing the experience. What kind of experience would you like to have? Would you like to have a five-star experience or would you like to have a two-star experience or a three-star experience? Agents are selling their guidance, their experience, their expertise, their negotiation skills, their even human relationship skills, right? How they communicate. They're selling all of that, but not the house. You either like the house or you don't like the house. The buyers, if you're selling and the prospective buyer either like your house or they don't like the house. But when you're choosing the agent to work with, you're choosing the experience that you are going to have throughout the whole process. What you should be looking in your realtor, in your real estate agent, who represents your best interest on the biggest investment in your life. I work in the Bay Area and everything is moving super fast. Good homes are selling. No matter what the market does, no matter how the interest rates, too high, too low, Good homes, there's lack of inventory and there's not a lot of good homes out there. So if there is a beautiful home pops up, there is usually competition. There is usually a pretty good traffic of people who are interested in buying that home. So one of the most important things that your agent has to have is availability. Agent has to work at your schedule. And I understand we're all human beings and life happens and no one can work 24 seven. But when you interview an agent, make sure you ask them how they operate their business. Do they have assistance? Do they have some other partner agent who, who can help you if the agent is not available? This is super important. Make sure you always double check it before you start working with the agent. I can't believe I have to tell you that, but you're supposed to meet your agent in person. Yes, you heard me right. You're supposed to, you have to meet your agent in person to see if you guys can work together, to see if you can trust them, to see if you have confidence that this person can protect your money. The reason why I'm bringing up this to your attention is a lot of people, and I'm meeting more and more people like that, they prefer email, they prefer text message, but they're just, for some reason, shutting down from in-person meeting and you know some people can respond to my text messages but they never pick up the phone and I'm always wondering why what is that so scary you supposed you have to talk in person with your agent because this agent protects your money this is million dollar transaction it's supposed to be in person it's not it cannot be done over the text what is the most important thing your agent must have in order to be able to protect your money? Just think about this. Your agent represents your interest in a transaction and it's just not transaction. This is the biggest investment in your life or maybe one of the biggest investments in your life. So the most important quality that your agent has to have is communication style. Yes, it sounds very basic, but you'll be surprised how many agents do not know how to communicate. How many agents not even bothering to pick up the phone and call. They're just doing the text messages. They're just doing emails. And this is not how the million dollar transactions are negotiated. So pay attention how your agent is communicating, whether you like it or not, whether it's friendly or not friendly, whether it's positive or not positive, because no one wants to work with people who are negative. No one wants to work with people who are nasty or who are operating from the fear, but not from the law of abundance. So yes, communication, this is one of the key, one of the key factors in the success, in your success in real estate. I can't stress it enough how important it is in order for you to be successful in real estate as a home buyer or home seller. But before you hire an agent, before you decide to work with the agent, Please, 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 please make sure that the agent actually does what he or she promised you they will do. I know it sounds very simple, but a lot of agents may overpromise you things. They may just tell you something just to get your business, just to get your attention, and they will never deliver. It all starts with simple things. Just double check if your agent actually 
send you property by the end of the day as they promise you or they send you the property is tomorrow or the day after if the agent is really calling you back at five o'clock as they promised or they calling you at 8 p.m because they just you know just remembered about that all those little things matters in this business and all of those little things can save you thousands of dollars and sometimes even million of dollars if your agent is skillful professional and if your agent is holding up to the very high standard in this industry